Khalifa Satom, that was a really nice performance from the horse. You've got a nice soft lead in front. Can you just talk us through the race from the beginning? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, sort of, there was, there was probably two in the race that were um, pretty strongly fancied, and I guess everyone was aware of that, and, and, it, it, and it resulted in us getting a pretty nice, easy lead. And it, to be fair to him, he's still, he's still probably learning a bit on the job. Like, he's a lovely, big, good-looking horse, and using his stride just kind of always always looked like it would work, and Andrew was pretty keen to do that. So, um, yeah, it felt, it felt really nice for us. Uh, was it always the plan uh, for you to go out and make or in just a, that small field, or were you going to be versatile with tactics today? Yeah, we 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 were pretty versatile to be fair. You know, Andrew said Andrew said if no one wants to go, brilliant, go forward. Um, that he's a nice big big horse, and like I say, he's got a lovely stride. So, you know, when when you're sat on a horse like that, there's no point um, not using that to your advantage, which was great to have instructions like that because it means you can chop and change plans. But obviously, stuck to plan A, and um, and it worked out really nicely for him. Yeah, it worked out really well. It was a beautifully judged ride in the end as well. You timed it to perfection. Um, what I loved about this horse's attitude, just watching it on the TV, was the way he sticks his neck out and battles. Does he feel like he gives you everything in the last couple of furlongs? Yeah, definitely. Um, like he's he's still he's still not the finished article though, which is great because he's already like he, that's obviously just his makeup. He's tough and and loves a battle. But I'm you know I, you'd be looking forward to seeing what he can do in the future. Now he's had another run under his belt this year. He's, he's clearly strengthened up over the winter from last year and, and you know the ground that he won his maiden on wasn't ideal today is probably more like it but you know he's he's definitely a pretty versatile horse and, and something to look forward to as he goes throughout the year and um, what kind of attributes does he have obviously now a two-time winner around Goodwood I'm assuming he feels very well balanced and comes down that hill quite nicely yeah, exceptionally well for a big horse. To be fair, <laughs> the way he cantered down, he's still, you know, he's still having a good look about and um, and and working things out. But 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 just, I think one of his biggest attributes is going to be his attitude, the way he drops his head and 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 even the way he just sort of jumps out, finds a rhythm himself. You don't have to mess him about. So that makes life a hell of a lot easier and um, a bit more simple when it comes to race planning and and the way you're riding him. Yeah, and when it comes to race planning, what about? trip-wise because he looks as though he's found plenty he's shown a good turn of foot there from the front he's stepped up an extra furlong today and what could do you think his ideal trip be um i mean to be honest with you stamina is definitely going to be his uh, his strong point um there I, I probably i probably could have um gone a little bit quicker and it would have probably helped him out if anything because i think he'd have galloped the speed out the rest of them which would you know in hindsight probably would have been the right thing to do but um but no i think in the future you know he's he's without shadow of a doubt going to get a mile and a half and and possibly even a little bit further in time especially you know especially the way he goes about his job makes it makes it all the more um feasible for him to do that yeah this race has been a very good trial for uh, more ledger horses um going forward a few horses have lined up in the derby do you think potentially though he could go either route if that's an option for him yeah i mean to be, to be honest they're not a dissimilar route really you know i think he's like I said before, he's he's, vers he's pretty versatile. Um, he's clearly balanced going around Goodwood. Um, I guess it's pretty it's probably pretty hard as an owner to to resist temptation um, for a Derby when you've got a horse that looks like it could be a possible contender or or um, have the chance to have a run. So, look, I mean, obviously, depending depending what um, what the team thinks is right, uh, they can they can probably pursue both if if that were their chosen route. Yeah, without a doubt. And had you ever sat on this horse um, before today's race? No, I was actually in the maiden that he won last year, so I got a good look at him. And, and you know, he's definitely he's definitely filled his frame now. Um, but you know, that was I mean, that, it was horrific ground when he won, and I think he did really well too because in the race and 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 looking back on it, he, it wasn't ground that he enjoyed. He just won through having a touch of class, and again showed showed that good attitude. Yeah, I absolutely love his attitude. Tom, you're going really well and you have done over the last few seasons and internationally, so you deserve every pride that comes your way. Um, but was there a particular reason why you ended up on him today or is it just you were at the right meeting on the right day? Yeah, no, in all honesty, I'm not I'm not really sure how it came about. But I presume, you know, obviously, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Obviously, Oshin's contracted into Qatar and, and, and he's yeah. riding the majority of Andrews when he can. And, um, you know, it's 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 been a bit of a weird time. There's a couple of meetings on today and I guess um, 
very lucky to be sat aboard a horse like that as a spare ride. Yeah, certainly. The, the way things are going, who knows what the future mapping is going to be. Thank you. Hi, Tom. Um, you sort of mentioned about getting an easy lead there. Do you think that tactically, obviously to your credit, but do you think that was a big difference today in, in, in how the result sort of on, on how the race unfolded? Um, I mean, it, it, it was definitely a benefiting factor, but I actually think I probably I probably underplayed his stamina a touch. Um, if anything, I think if I'd have gone if I if I'd have gone a touch faster.